friends! What's up? How are you? Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing eye swatches, live swatches of the new ColourPop Tinkerbell collection. It's 10 o'clock. I just got my package a few hours ago and I was already filming all day. So I'm sorry if I look disheveled or a little tired. I am a little tired, but this thing launches tomorrow morning and I'm trying to finally have it up for you guys in time for launch. This is the first time since the start of the pandemic that I've received a collection before it actually launched. So this is a big deal for me today. I feel like I'm finally back. Fingers crossed it'll continue. When this came in today, I was like, doesn't matter. We'll go all night. Luckily, it's not a huge collection though. So it, it's not a big deal. Oh my God. And I just trimmed my bangs myself and I swear I have hair in my eye. Anyway, <laughs> that's neither here nor there. So let's get started. Can I just say, first of all, this is the best Tinkerbell packaging I have ever seen. She's like a little more spunky. I love the whole sketching of it. It's like a sketch drawing. It is beautiful. I feel like it's such a step up than what I would have expected from a Tinkerbell collection. We've seen them do the pretty standard, you know, Disney packaging. However, this just, it seems so much more elevated. It got me really excited. She's just cute as a button on this freaking packaging. I love all the drawing. It's just, it's so cool. It is so, so cool. She just looks so cute on this one. I love it. She looks so spunky. I mean, she's just cute. She is just cute as a button. I'm obsessed. I freaking love this collection. I think we'll first start off with the lip products. We have lip products, cheek products, eyeshadow, eye um, sticks. We have a lot to do. So let's just start with the lips and move on. We have two glossy lip stains, the adorable packaging, and the gold is actual glitter. I always love that detail. I think that's super nice. Oh my gosh, I can't get over this. I also just want to shout out any Office fans out there who also think of Nelly when you see Tinkerbell stuff. Cause I just, I think of Nelly. Oh, I'm Tinkerbell. <laughs> oh my gosh, these are so cute. We have a little gold Tinker, damn these lights. There's a gold foiled Tinkerbell on the front there. And the first shade we're gonna try naturally is Tinkerbell. This is their newer formula, came out in the past year, past few months actually, right? I was not expecting it to be as light as it is. Isn't that cute? That is a nice pink. Lighter than it looks in the bottle. In the bottle, it looks more of like a rusty mauve. But there's definitely a grapefruity punch to it on the lips. I think this is like such a pretty color. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. I really, really like this one. So yeah, that is a glossy lip stain in the shade Tinkerbell. One thing I forgot to mention, which you guys know I love, the inside of the packaging is lined with beautiful green Tinkerbells. It's so cute. The next shade is Clap If You Believe, which just makes me think of Nelly even more. I love Nelly on The Office and I read a lot of The Office um, like subreddits and a lot of people don't like Nelly. I love Nelly. I think she's awesome. Ooh, that's pretty. Wow, again, brighter than I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was a little darker in the tube, but very cute and very pigmented. I really like this. That is Clap If You Believe. Next, I wanna get into one of my favorite makeup items in the entire world, blush or anything cheeky. I'm a cheeky girl. She is a very cheeky girl. Oh, it's kinky girl. Cheeky girl works too. <laughs> so yeah, we have three super shock cheeks. I believe one is kind of a highlighter. So we'll go blushy, blushy, highlighty, okay? The little packaging is so adorable. Look at this cuteness. So cute. Are you kidding me? Do you see the glitter top? And it's like kind of translucent and glittery and we have Tinkerbell. This is so fetch if I do say so myself. So the first shade here is Magic Moon. You know, I love my curtain bangs, but it takes them like 30 minutes before they're flat. I can't get them to stay all wispy and cute. I think they're too heavy. I think they need to be thinned out more. So if you have curtain bangs, let me know your secrets. I've been using hot rollers. That has been fantastic. I'm into hot rollers again. I say again, this is the first time I've ever used them. It just feels like it's like a throwback beauty thing. Oh, this goes with this lip so well. A bright coral. Was hoping for a bit more because we tend to get a coral blush in every color pop collection however i will say i know i have noticed that we all really love coral blush and every time i buy a new blush it's some shade of coral i don't know what to say we love coral it's cute it's got a super smooth light glow to it not a shimmer or a flicker or anything just a nice healthy glow it looks good on your cheeks your cheeks just look healthy it's that type of situation so that is magic moon the next shade is Darling. This looks gorgeous. A bit of a bronze to it, would you say? Oh yeah, like a coppery. Whoa. I thought I want to be able to wear this, but I like it. Once you blend it out, 
if you have more fair skin like I do, once you blend it out, it's not so bronzy. It's gorgeous! Wow, I never would have picked this blush for myself. That is crazy. It is really pretty. Oh my goodness, someone stop me. That is really, really cute. Would you need them both? I will say, now seeing them in comparison, this one here, oh my lord, sorry. This one here is a little more rosy corally or pinky corally, whereas this has a true warmth to it. Interesting, very interesting. Well, that is darling. And then last but not least in the cheek department, we have Happy Thoughts. Ooh, and it looks nice and glowy. Let's go ahead and pop this on. Pretty, a beige, a nice beige. Not too icy, which is what I like. I like some color to it. I think it'll complement a lot of people. I wish my skin wasn't awful right now. Whoa, the glow is real. That is cute. Cute as a button. Oh my God, I'm getting carried away. Someone stop me. Ah, I love this color. It's so easy to wear. You can wear it with anything. A lot of makeup, very light makeup, no makeup, just a good go-to glow. Fantastic! So that is Happy Thoughts. Next up, we have two eyeliners. I just did these on my hand, if that's okay with you guys. This is the packaging. They are pencil liners. The pencils are to die for. I mean, they are just the cutest, cutest little packaging ever. I will say this is the cutest packaging since Miss Rob Beauty Christie's collection, which we all know was a stunner and can never be recreated. Never be recreated. Mm. We're protective of our mama bear. Any brands trying to recreate her collection, don't you do it. Don't you do it. We know. We don't miss the beat. Anyway, sorry. We love Miss Christie here on this channel. Beautiful, beautiful eyeliners. I'm sure you just care about the swatches. So on the bottom here, we have Fly With Me which is a beautiful foresty green, and it has a nice metallic to it. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous liner, very, very stunning. And then we have a shimmer bronze here. This is Lost Girl, and it does have silver glitter in it, so it makes it kind of light when it's not directly in a light. <laughs> and then when it's in a shadow, it is, you know, a darker brown. Very, very cute stuff. Aren't those pretty? But do note that the brown one does have silver flecks of glitter in it. So if you have sensitive eyes, I'm sure it's fine, but I just wanted to always let you guys know, okay? Oh, I thought these were eye crayons, but I'm an idiot. This is even better. We have a Super Shock Trio in the gorgeous Tinkerbell packaging. <laughs> oh, hello. Do you see how pretty these look? This is such a cute collection. Oh, sorry, Tinkerbell. Kind of screwed you up there. Oh my god, she's a doll. I opened the window for two seconds to get the hairspray smell out of my room, and now there's a little baby fly flying around, so if you see him, his name is Frederick, and he'll be staying till we move. I guarantee it. This is so cute. This is so cute. What can I say? Dang it, they keep railing us in over and over and over. The shade names are on the outside of the packaging as well, not just on the sticker on the back like usual. The detail! That's expensive because they usually just, well not usually, I know for these special collections they'll have a special stamp on stuff and whatnot, but but when they use just the generic ColourPop Super Shock Shadow, like they can throw any shadow in it and it's not a big deal. But they have to have a specific one of each amount for these because, or for each shadow, because they can't, you know, swap the names. Cool. All right, let me zoom you beautiful bitches in. My back hurts. I'm 90 years old. Help me. Is this too close or too high up? I don't know. The first shade is Fly to Your Heart. Ooh, pretty. Oh, this is nice. Another nice beigey, more sparkle than actual shadow, you know what I mean? A great top coat, a great inner corner, little pop of sparkle, or, you know, wear it all over like this, which is how I would probably like to do it. It looks cute with this lip color, doesn't it? That is very, very nice. Simple and cute. That is Fly to Your Heart. The next shade is Straight On Till Morning. Oh, this is such a pretty green. Oh, it's gorgeous, you guys. Yes, it has a lime element to it. There's like an aqua blue and yellow sparkle to it that makes it really interesting. And I love it because it really does give it that fairy vibe. You know what I mean? It's very fairy core. It's so, so cute. It really is. That is straight on till morning. The next shade is Never Grow Up. And oh my goodness. Can we just all take a moment to collectively awe over this shadow? Do you see all the little micro glitters? It looks amazing. Oh, if I did not already mention it, if I did, I'll just cut this out and you won't even see it. My affiliate code will work on this collection. 
So that will save you some money on the Tinkerbell collection if you're interested. And it doesn't have to be my code, you know, support your favorite influencer. Just know how much it helps creators. It's, it really is everything. No one makes money off YouTube videos. It's, you gotta survive on other things. And so I, myself and I know every creator, well, I would hope every creator is just unbelievably grateful for the support. It, it means so much. And thank you to anyone who's ever used my code. Thank you so much. From the bottom of my heart, I can't thank you enough. This is insane, this color. Are you for real right now? Do you see this? It is so magical. There is no way the camera is picking it up as great as it is in person. It looks like a burgundy disco ball. There is just so much unique type of glitters in this. I've really never seen anything like it. It is phenomenal. So, so good. Um, But yeah, codes will work. My code is Shay, S-H-A-E. So feel free to use that. No pressure to, but just know how much I am just eternally grateful to you. I literally owe you my life, I feel like, if you've ever supported me through my code. Thank you so, so much. It, it means more than you could ever know. And yeah, that is the shade Never Grow Up. And I completely agree. <laughs> Growing up is bullshit. Can we all agree? Yeah. Finally, we are getting into the palette. This palette is so fairy core amazingness. So gorgeous. And so different than what we normally see. We got the just, again, the most precious Tinkerbell right there on the front. And the back is just as cute. Even right here, like this is real glitter that's lining the shadows. It is so cute. Nice mirror inside. A nice weight to the palette too. I wonder if they've changed their actual palette packaging. It feels a little heavier, which I like. It's it's a it's a really comfortable weight. The first shade is Second Star, and this is a matte shadow. Very, 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 very pale beige. Nothing unique. We've seen it before. But it ties together with the theme. I love a good beige, I do, but just know it's very, very, very light. Oh, I look horrible. Sorry, you guys. I am so tired. It is so late. Yeah, not much to say about it. That is second star. The next shade is Small Fairy. I cannot wait for this one. <sighs> yes. It's a beautiful, kind of light, olivey, flaky green. Definitely has a lot of grit to it, and you will experience some fallout as I am here. Like I said, it's a flakier eyeshadow. Not as smooth. Not a big deal. Just kind of wipe it away and there you go. It's very pretty though. I'm going to wet the brush now so we can see it with a bit of, you know, a bit of oomph. We always love to do this with these shades that you can foil. Just pop a wet brush on top and really get that glow going. I love how this just transforms metallics. It's stupid, it's simple, it's easy. It shouldn't be so wow, and yet I'm wowed with it every time. It's like the funnest part of these videos for me. Very, very gorgeous. It just turns it to a straight metallic. So that is the shade Small Fairy. The next shade is Big Magic. This is also a matte. I love these dusty shades. It's a dusty rosy taupe or a dusty plummy taupe. A dusty mauve. Duh. I was combining like three colors or three tones to get one shade that already exists. Bozo! Anyway, you know I love these shades. It's gorgeous. It's absolutely beautiful. So, so cute. That is the shade Big Magic. The next shade is Tink. This is another shimmer. Next few are shimmers, actually. Pop that on. Oh my gosh, that is a brighter than I was expecting. I feel so magical right now. Do you know what collection I would really like? I'd really like a Thumbelina collection. I think that would be a cute one. I also have been begging for years. I mentioned it each time I went and visited ColourPop. Um, I really need, well, if it's done correctly, I really need a Nightmare Before Christmas collection. But if it's not done correctly, I don't want it. I don't want it, okay? I don't want a super glam one. Do you know what I mean? I don't know. Okay, so there it is dry. Now let's wet the brush. I know it seems crazy like, well, why would you, what do you want from a Nightmare Before Christmas collection that isn't glam? Like, what do you expect? And I don't know. I just don't want it prettied up. I want it to stay a little gritty, you know? I don't know. But Sally deserves her own collection. But I don't want it too pretty. And don't make her all cartoony and stuff. I don't like, I don't, I don't like that. Leave Sally alone. And there it is. It is glowy gorgeousness. That is the shade Tink. The next shade is Pixie Dust, right here. All right, more on the lime green side here. 
Oh my God, I hear my dryer is done. Yes. Some nights I like to just wash my jam jams, even if they don't necessarily need a wash because I just want warm, cozy jam jams to climb into after a late night of filming. Oh my God, I'm gonna take a warm shower. I'm gonna use all my lavender products and I'm gonna put on my cozy jam jams. It's gonna be the best night ever. American Horror Story premiere tonight. I haven't been able to watch it yet because I'm filming and I'm like so anxious to get downstairs. There is Pixie Dust Dry Let's Wet the Brush and as we could have expected, just makes it a nice shiny metallic. Beautiful. Wow, that's lime green. I'll be honest, I don't know that I would use this shade that often. It's pretty, it fits the theme, but I don't typically wear lime green eyes that often. But possibly with other shades in here combined. Just my opinion. That is the shade Pixie Dust. The next shade is Neverland. Right here. Beautiful. Love me a good smoky teal. Oh yes, this is exactly what I wanted it to be. More of a smoky, emeraldy, teal green. Does that make sense? Probably not, doesn't matter. It's gorgeous. <laughs> That's all that matters to me. Oh, it's so beautiful. Even with a dry brush, it is just so, so pretty. <gasps> I want to wear more emerald green eye makeup this fall. Sweat the brush. Oh, and that just livens it up. Makes it a little brighter. I would love to do this on a, a black base, this shadow, like a black crayon or gel liner situation. Oh my god, it's so pretty, you guys. That is the shade Neverland. Next, we have a matte shade. This is Sleep. Oh my gosh, this is so green. I freaking love this. Wow, that is bright. <laughs> Again, something like this should have been in the Neon collection. It is so bright and so, so beautiful. What a perfect green for this collection. I am really impressed. Sorry, I know I'm getting a little sloppy with everything. It's getting all over my face, but it is an absolutely phenomenal green. So pigmented, so bright, so fun, so happy, so Tinkerbell, totally. That is the shade Sleep. Oh, second to the last shade. It's going too soon. This is Place Between. Looks like a kind of slaty plum. Would that just be a taupe? Am I making up shades again? <laughs> oh, it's gorgeous. I love how gritty this one is. It's just, the texture is phenomenal. So much sparkle. It's beautiful. Ah, it, it just doesn't show up on camera as it does in person. In person, it is, there's so much more depth to it. Ah, I hate that. Okay, I'm gonna wet the brush. It really is something special, I swear. If you got this in person, you'd be like, okay, I see what she meant. It is very, very cool. It's like an oil slick type of shade. Ah, that looks nice. Wow, that really took away that grittiness, made it quite smooth. Stunning, stunning, stunning. That is Place Between. And the very last shade is Awake. I love that Sleep is the bright green and Awake is this dark teal. Wow, it is so dark. It's like staring into the... Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I was out of focus. I am so sorry. I am so sorry about that. Dang it. I am so sorry. I was going to say, I feel like this is like staring into the abyss. It's so beautiful and dark and blue, teal, breathtaking. And all of these shades are going to be gorgeous with it, especially these two. I would love to do a look maybe with even all three, that corner there. That's my little sweet spot there. That's awake, beautiful, pigmented, and just mm, yummy, 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 yummy. That is it for the Tinkerbell collection, you guys. What did you think? I'm super satisfied. For me, it works. I loved everything. I love the colors that were chosen. I love the packaging. I mean, the overall tones and theme, and it's just, it feels good. This collection felt really good for my soul. I really don't have any complaints, I gotta tell ya. And I feel like the past few ones, I've had a few complaints here and there. This one I feel really good about, and I hope everyone loves it as much as I do. I haven't read the feedback much yet, so I might, there might, people might hate it, and I might not know it yet. That tends to happen a lot with me. I try not to read other people's opinions and get too influenced. I really like it, though. I'm excited to hear your guys' thoughts. If you wanted to check this out, it will be launching today at... 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, I believe. Link it down below for you guys. Like I said, you can use my affiliate code on it. S-H-A-E-Shay, my name. 
that will save you some money on your ColourPop purchase. And I hope you guys love this collection. I can't wait to hear your thoughts. Um, yeah, I guess that's it for me. I love you guys and I will see you in my next video. Bye!